Oh, si. Senor Navarro will be pleased. His shipment from the lab has finally arrived. I should take it to the workshop, as Senor Navarro asked. Excuse me, Senor Navarro. The delivery you were expecting is here. Marvelous. Joaquin, is everything in order? Yes, the entire shipment has been delivered. Although the pilot took off quickly due to the rain. And the thermal box? Has it come through unscathed? It seems to be in great condition. Superb. Could you please put the thermal box on the desk for me? If you don't mind my asking, senor, what's inside? Seedlings of a prototype flower we've been working on at the Navarro Labs. They've come all the way from our Mumbai branch. Dios mío, from the other side of the world. All that effort for a few seedlings. Why? These seedlings have the capacity for unparalleled healing. If we succeed, they could revolutionize healthcare. this flower change medicine? It has been engineered to carry a plethora of different healing properties. This is the first step toward a greater and more ambitious goal. Eventually, this flower may lead to the extinction of all diseases. In the lab, we call this flower Miraculous. Miraculous? Is that related to the Plenius project? Miraculous is the result of the Plenius project. Joaquin, how do you know about that project? Have we spoken about it before? Actually, senor, I overheard you talking with a scientist during my flora consultancy at your lab in Venezuela. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Q. Curiosity is natural. Now, would you mind sharing what you heard? Only something about the miraculous and uh, gene extraction from Andean Nightshade? Ah, yes. 
Nightshade played a vital role in Project Plinius. Even on its own, its anti-inflammatory properties could be a lifesaver. Now just imagine its incredible potential when combined with other healing properties. Project Plinius really does sound special. It is. I just wish I could have shared more about it with you before. But it was crucial to maintain secrecy during the early stages of the project to avoid any leaks to our competitors. However, those days are behind us, so please feel free to ask me any questions you have right now. What's the origin of the project? That goes back to my days at the University of Valparaiso. In my youth, I was bursting with ideas about how to improve the world. One of them was to create a flower that possessed countless healing properties. Back then, my peers deemed it impossible, branding me a dreamer. Yet their skepticism only fueled my resolve to prove them wrong. And did you, senor? <laughs> Not at that time, regrettably. The university turned down my funding request, killing my project before it even began. It wasn't until my company began to prosper that I was able to resurrect the research project. My global business travels afforded me the opportunity to study medicinal flowers all over the world. Inspecting plants from all corners of the world? I'm a bit jealous, senor. Oh, you would have enjoyed it, Q. The multitude of flowers and their properties was quite a sight. However, that took a back seat until my company found its financial footing. It's been just a decade since I was able to allocate several labs specifically for Project Plinius. And in 10 years of diligent work, we've engineered a flower that possesses multiple combined healing properties. Can you share the secret behind cultivating such a remarkable flower? The secret is gene modification. We began with two medicinal flowers designating one as the DNA donor and the other as the host. We then used bacteria that are naturally capable of transferring the donor's DNA to the host they infect. And with each successful crossbreed, we ascended closer to the apex, the ultimate medicinal flower. That's incredible. What sort of capabilities do you think this flower might have? If we manage to unlock its full potential, the Miraculous could detoxify and regenerate body cells and even heal conditions as profound as blindness and deafness. 
Sounds like the Miraculous is truly capable of performing miracles, senor. Have you brought it to Esperanza to start testing its capabilities? Unfortunately, no. We're struggling with growing the prototype, as it never blossoms. The thermal box you brought contains the last seedlings from the original batch. I don't understand, senor. Why bring the Miraculous here, then? As a final attempt, I decided to try cultivating it here, on Isla Esperanza. Together with you, Q, we will nurture it so that it flowers. Senora, I doubt I'm the right fit for this task. Nonsense, Q. You're the most skilled floral expert I've ever known. If anyone can make the miraculous flower, it's you. I appreciate your trust in me, but what happens if we're unsuccessful? Then Navarro Labs will have to re-engineer the flower pairings. It would take another year to recreate a prototype of this caliber. Do you understand the weight of our task here? Absolutely, senor. So, can I rely on you? It would be my honor. That's the spirit cue. Then what are we waiting for? Let's take a look at those seedlings. Babies. What's going on, Q? All this traveling has really damaged the seedlings. Let me see them. We need to replant them now. We can grab my tools from the greenhouse and head straight to the jungle. Hold on, Joaquin. Aren't we planting them inside the greenhouse? You previously mentioned that the flower wouldn't bloom under controlled conditions. We shouldn't repeat the same mistake. But due to the morning rain showers, the soil is too damp. The seedlings could end up waterlogged. We should keep them in the greenhouse for now. Where they're safe. With all due respect, planting them in the greenhouse will only kill the seedlings faster. They need Mother Nature. We don't have time for this. Senor, rest assured, I will prevent the seedlings from drowning. How will you do that? The rain has come and gone for most of the morning. As soon as the weather calms down, we'll replant the seedlings using the dry soil we've stored in the greenhouse. And if the rain comes back? I know places in the jungle where the seedlings will be sheltered from the rain. 
Certain trees in those areas also absorb a lot of water, keeping the soil mostly dry. Please, trust me to do what I do best, senor. Okay, Q. I've expressed my faith in your abilities before, and I stand by it now. As soon as the weather improves, we'll take the seedlings outdoors. I won't let you down. I should grab everything we need before Senor Navarro finishes preparing for the hike. Better put all the tools into the wheelbarrow. I should put all the... All, all done. Senor Navarro should be here at any moment. Regrettably, Q, the rain doesn't appear to be stopping anytime soon. Actually, senor, the storm will soon pass. We just need a little patience. What makes you so certain? The clouds are gradually shifting. The westerly wind will bring in some lighter clouds before long. Hmm. You might be onto something. It won't be much longer now. Very well. We'll wait. Senor. If the Miraculous blooms, what do you intend to do with it? Once we've procured the medicine, it will need to be tested and approved by the government. Then we'll distribute it to people in need all around the world. If only Camille had had access to the Miraculous back then. You seem upset, Q. Is everything all right? Forgive me. I just remembered a friend. Someone the miraculous flower could have saved. Were they close to your heart? Someone very dear. It's been a while since I've delved into those bittersweet memories. Life in Venezuela was certainly not a walk in the park, but it had its moments of joy. If you feel like sharing, I'd love to hear more about it. Sure, senor. We do have some time to kill, after all. I never went to university, senor. Everything I know comes from my father. And yet, your knowledge surpasses that of most people who have a formal education. Your father must have been an extraordinary mentor.
He taught me how to find peace in the wilderness and to listen to the gentle rustle of leaves and the babble of streams. He ingrained in me an understanding of nature's language. He taught me to respect it and live in harmony with it. Learning to commune with nature is a rare gift. I can see his influence in your work. I'm glad. He's the reason I became an expert on flora. I don't just plant trees and flowers. I try to recreate the harmony that my father taught me to respect. And how are your parents doing now, by the way? The generous pay you offer me greatly contributes to their well-being. I'm glad they're doing fine, Q. But your pay isn't me being generous. It's a recognition of your worth. That's kind of you to say, senor. Still, I never fully understood why you chose me for the position that... ...the position of an expert on flora at your lab in Venezuela. During our search for the Andean Nightshade, both you and your father offered invaluable local insights. It was evident we needed someone with your expertise on the project. I've always been glad you accepted the offer, but honestly, I never understood why your father didn't. My father is a hard man to win over, senor. Trust doesn't come easily to him. When he saw you negotiating with the guerrilla army during our expedition... ...any trust he had in you disappeared. Sadly, the only way to cross the mountains and reach the Nightshade was through their territory. I had to put the success and security of our expedition first. I understood that. My father, however, didn't. I take it he didn't condone your decision to work with me either. Not at first. But, he came to terms with it after seeing the joy it brought me. I'm delighted to hear that. Truly, your work radiates love and passion, Q. If you give even a fraction of the care you've shown to other plants, to the miraculous, I'm convinced it will flower. Thank you, senor. I'll give it my all. I only hope that if the miraculous flowers, especially those residing in the secluded parts of Venezuela, are you talking about those dreadful disease outbreaks? Yes. Too many lives have been claimed already. The friend you spoke of earlier, were they one of the victims? You're under no obligation to share. But I have personally experienced how bottled up grief can erode you from the inside.
A conversation can sometimes lighten the weight on your shoulders. I... I miss her. What was her name? Camilla. Seems like the rain is subsiding. Then it's time to go, senor. Agreed. But once we're done replanting the Miraculous, I'd be honored to hear more about Camilla. Now, lead the way, Q. This storm came out of nowhere. I hope the seedlings will be okay. Let's talk once we're safely back in the mansion. I've got you. Honestly, senor, I'll be okay. We need to head back to the seedlings. What we need is to confirm you have no fractures, Q. Once this storm subsides, Dr. Gonzalez will be flown in. There's really no need for her to make the trip. I'm fine. Q, your injury might be severe. You need to rest. I'll rest after we've ensured the safety of the seedlings, Singer. Joaquin, the chances of them surviving such a storm are extremely slim. It's unfortunate, but no one could have predicted this. We can't abandon them. They are still alive, senor. Regardless, you're in no state to go back there. Senor, it's my obligation. I proposed that we plant them outside. I exposed them to this risk. And I was the one who agreed to it. The blame lies on my shoulders. I should share part of the guilt, too. If that's your wish, we'll bear the responsibility together. However... Reaching the seedlings now is far too risky. I'll inspect them once the storm has passed. And you'll stay here and recuperate. Thank you, senor. I'll put my faith in Mother Nature's judgment until then. Good. But it will be some time before the storm passes. Perhaps you'd like to resume where we left off and... Tell me about your friend, Camilla. Camilla and I, we'd been together for almost six years. We were in love. I planned on proposing. I even got a ring. Then fate intervened.
Camilla was dispatched as a humanitarian aid worker during the yellow fever outbreak. Unfortunately, they weren't able to contain the first wave of the epidemic. That vile disease took the lives of all the aid workers, including Camille. My condolences, Joaquin. It sounds like Camille was truly a kind soul. She was inspiring. Camille kept helping everyone until her last breath, senor. Her last breath. A tragedy like that should never happen to anyone. So, I can't help but wonder. Maybe, just maybe, the Miraculous could help avoid such disasters. I can't promise it will, but it is certainly possible. The possibility that it will save lives is all I need. I'll make sure the Miraculous blooms, senor. Just be prepared, Q. The seedlings might not survive the storm. I have faith they will. I am sure Mother Nature will protect them. I guess Joaquin was right. Senor Navarro and I were optimistic after the seedlings survived the storm. I spent the following months tending to them. All the miraculous flowers grew strong and healthy. After eight long months, one of the miraculous flowers finally bloomed. It was beautiful and radiant. I'll take the Miraculous to the workshop. Senor Navarro will be happy it has bloomed. Senor Navarro, I've brought the fully grown Miraculous. I still can't believe it has finally flowered. May I? I was wrong for ever doubting you, Q. Water under the bridge, Senor. No, I should have put more faith in you. It's thanks to your hard work that we can finally process the medicine and start the initial tests. How long before the medicine is ready for distribution? Well, there are a good few years ahead of us. First, We'll need to do an internal analysis of the synthesized medicine. If all seems fine, we'll then proceed with more rigorous testing. Starting with isolated cells, then animals, and finally humans. It'll be a long journey, with lots of hurdles on the way. Is there anything else I can do to help? <laughs> Cultivating and taking care of the Miraculous is more than enough. 
Senor, I can do more, if you let me. Q, you've been pushing yourself relentlessly for the past eight months. Perhaps it's time you took a breather. A vacation might do you good. I can't, senor. The flowers need my attention. Rest assured, the flowers will be well cared for. I'll arrange for one of the gardeners from Navarro Labs to step in while you're away. Just make sure to instruct them about the finer points of tending to the Miraculous. I hope they're up to the task. The Miraculous needs a delicate touch. I'm sure they'll rise to the occasion. Well, in that case, uh, maybe a vacation won't hurt. But everything back home reminds me of Camilla. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face it. That's something you'll only discover once you're back. Perhaps. I just... Every time I think of Camille, the pain's still there. As fresh as ever. You should remember her with pride, not sorrow. Her deeds were inspiring. You're right. I can't keep running away from my feelings forever. Good. I'll schedule some cover for you as soon as possible. Thank you, senor. I won't keep you any longer. But before I go, I wanted to say that no matter what, I really believe in the miraculous. Thank you, Q. I only hope that our commitment doesn't go unrewarded, and that the Miraculous fulfills its potential. I have no doubt it will. The flower, after all, is your creation. It's not mine. It's ours. Behind the creation of the Miraculous are both the brilliant minds and the passionate people who took such good care of it. And its medicine could one day become our legacy to humankind.